everyone, it's Megan and Beth. Welcome back to video number two in our Make Memories Not Waste holiday series. Today we're gonna do a quick sorting video on what to do with your holiday waste. We've selected some of the most commonly misplaced items around the holidays and we're gonna show you whether they go in compost, in your blue bag, to a depot or other drop-off location, or in the garbage. We hope you enjoy our video. Paper plates. Muffin liners or coffee filters and coffee grounds. Pine cones. Poinsettias or any other dead floral arrangement. Your old Christmas tree! <laughs> Just remember to cut it up and tie it into smaller bundles. Twine. Food scraps, including turkey and turkey bones. Any uneaten candy. Coffee cups, lids, and sleeves. Plastic plates. Any type of tins, whether it's a gift tin or a cookie tin. Foil items, whether it's foil wrapping on chocolate, tin foil, or even foil baking dishes. Plastic chocolate inserts. Christmas crackers. Gift bags. Just make sure that you take out the little string handles. Tissue paper. Holiday cards and envelopes. Paper wrapping paper. Milk, eggnog, or cream cartons. Old Christmas lights. Dead batteries. Old clothes. Crinkly plastics, like chocolate bar wrappers, granola bar wrappers, chip bags, and things like that. Styrofoam packaging. Stretchy plastics, like grocery bags and bread bags. Bows. Ribbon. Foil wrapping paper. Holographic wrapping paper. Tinsel. Artificial garland. Ornaments. Paper plates with a waxy coating. Plastic straws. Plastic cutlery. Scratch tickets. Six pack ring. Mailing envelopes that are paper on the outside and bubble wrap on the inside. So we've got three different examples of wrapping paper that we've already touched on. At this time of year, it's really important to know what kind of papers you can use for recycling and what kinds you can't. The type of wrapping paper we recommend buying is something like this. It is 100% a paper wrapping paper. If you look close, it doesn't have a special shine to it. It's not holographic and there's no foil. It is just 100% paper. This kind can be easily recycled and it can be put in your blue bag this holiday season. These are two examples of other kinds that we recommend you avoid if you wanna be able to recycle your wrapping paper. This one is a more foil type wrapping paper. You can see it has a bit of shine to it. And this one is holographic, both of which cannot be recycled. So these would both go in the garbage. So we really hope that you enjoyed this video. And we hope you learned something new today about an item you didn't know could go in a certain place. We wish that we could have shown you more items, but these are some of the really common ones that people are using around this holiday season. If you're ever unsure of where something goes, definitely check out the Waste Wizard either through the Abbotsford Curbside Collection app or online at abbotsford.ca slash waste wizard. You can enter any item there and it'll tell you exactly where it should go. When we talk about depots in this video, we also mean other drop-off location. So not only depots that accept glass, your crinkly plastics, your styrofoam, 
your stretchy plastics, but also drop off locations such as places that take your gently used clothes, your toys, your books, and things like that. So Beth and I really hope that you enjoyed our Make Memories Not Waste holiday series. And from us to you, we wanna wish you a very happy holiday season. And remember, make memories, not waste. Bye. Bye. <laughs>